Welcome to Voice Bootcamp. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. This is your voice instructor at voicebootcamp.com. In this lecture, I'm going to be discussing about the high availability of the CCI Voice Lab in SRST and AAR functionalities. Now, when you have a remote site, a central centralized call ma call manager processor, where call managers is located in your head office somewhere right here, for example, and you have branch office phones sitting right in San Francisco across the van. Now, when uh, these two IP phones lose connection to the call manager or the call manager server is down or the WAN is down for whatever reason, well, these two phones will become uh, b basically will become unusable at this moment because the skinny traffic will not be able to reach the call manager. So therefore, the phone, uh, the remote side will be totally uh, out of service at that point. Now, in order to provide a remote side backup uh, where the dependency of call manager is reduced down to a minimum level, you need to enable SRST. Uh, SRST can be enabled on any Cisco uh, ISR platform with a spe uh, special iOS feature, which basically tells the phone that, hey, if you lose connection to call manager, register yourself to this particular router. What SRST does, it provides basic functionality such as you can make IP phone to IP phone call, you can make IP phone to PSTN and send and receive calls, and of course you can access voicemail or corporate head office over the PSTN rather than over the IP backbone. In addition to that, SRST does also provide auto attendance service it, using a tickle, tickle, uh, tickle script. It can also provide translations, um, uh, access to voicemail locally, uh, music on hold, and various other features. Now, in order to provide SRST, the phone needs to know how to which router to fall back to. So the question is, how does the phone knows about that? Well, when you configure the device pool in Call Manager for that particular site, San Francisco, there is an option called uh, SRST device. So, for example, in my Call Manager, if I go to device pool and change the default device pool, and I have the option to define what kind of SRST I want. So, this is the SRST reference point. By default, it's disabled. So, if you enable and say use default gateway, then what will happen is the it will t uh, once you update the phone will be instructed to use a default gateway as an SRST router. Now, for the phone's perspective, the default gateway is this particular router that you have. So, this router right here is a default gateway from the phone perspective. So, of course, uh, it, the uh, phone will only can register to the router providing that the router has been configured for SRST. Now, uh, during normal operation, the phone registers.